Okay, everyone, we're back. Still waiting on the third cycle to start. Um, I just went ahead and started the video. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I'm kind of out of breath here. As you can see, we're at three hours and two minutes. So it should start in the next few minutes. I'm actually sitting down, you guys. See if I can actually, I don't know if it'll work, but let's see. See if I can actually sit. Nope, that's gonna be disastrous. It may work. I have to hold it, but as you can see, I don't, I need a taller tripod. Baby steps, baby steps. Um, it's still resting. As you can see, I can lift it up a little bit. I wanted y'all to see how it inflates. And that's normal. That's a good thing. If it doesn't rise a little bit when it's resting and you probably have old uh, yeast or you've added it at the wrong time or something is wrong. But don't just like jump to a conclusion. Wait because... Um, depending on I think depending on the recipe and how it mixes it it's gonna inflate and deflate you know it's gonna rise and then it's gonna fall and that's a good thing because you're using instant yeast um, I know several youtubers actually have used regular yeast um, I don't know how that works out because I know that actually takes longer to rise and with a bread maker, it it really would, I guess, mess up everything. Let me show you that the see we still have um, the raisins in there. This part, hopefully, I was just trying to wait and do several parts until that drops, so that y'all can see firsthand exactly how everything works. Um, and it's it's really loud. So that loud sound, that's the the fruits or the nuts or whatever you're adding to your bread or to your yogurt or um, cake or whatever, your jam. Um, that's what that's for. And it's really loud. And it's just what it's doing is just shaking. Uh, it's shaking uh, the dispenser to make sure everything is out. And because that little tray at the bottom, let me show you. The tray at the bottom actually falls by itself. I normally, myself, um, I normally uh, lift it a little bit because it's still in the mixing phase and just close it. Um, when I first got this, I actually did not uh, close it. I'm just showing everybody the recipe again just in case you're watching this and you're trying to make it right now and you should be able to see it because my tripod actually has a light which i love so i think probably christmas see dim light light us and actually oops actually looks like this see it's cute uh one day when i ever I get the chance to when i get another one i'll show what this one looks like or maybe I can just lift it and also eventually with the honey powder and the butter powder I am gonna de uh, demo that um, do a demonstration of that um, and also do the powdered milk I know most people know how to mix uh, you know powdered milk but some people a lot of people don't use it because they don't know how to mix it and they say oh it's chalky and it's that and everything but it is a way of, of mixing it to make it really, really uh, taste good. So any time, now I think maybe the next couple of seconds it should start mixing. And you do know that uh, that's the hour and that's the minutes. So we started at 340, three hours and 40 minutes. So we're now at two hours and 57 minutes. And what I'm going to do once it drops, I'm going to let it uh, mix 
so you can see how the dough, dough pulls away from the um, the sides um, and if not I'm going to scrape it down and uh, if I need to add flour see I got my uh, spatula already and I still have my flour just in case this is just a just in case measure that's just in case it's too wet um, um, it, it needs to be tacky like it needs to be tacky like when you touch it it should not stick to your hands so I'll show y'all that um, and me personally I know I've seen some people um, they put a uh, little flour on their hands no if you you don't have to do it that way if you pinch your dough whether you're doing it by hand learning how to do it by hand or prefer to do it by hand um, and you pinch it and it sticks to your hand you may just need to add a little bit of flour that's why it's good to have you know flour you know next to you that's like a half a cup uh, right there so well actually less than half sorry just hit the um, I think this is a uh, half a cup total so that may be like a fourth I guess fourth it's not level see how see well this is a good thing to look at see how dense it is see with white flour it moves okay there we go so two hours and 55 minutes that's cycle three okay and we're here and as you can see we still have our fruit did it just a little bit as you can see, see, it's starting to clean the bowl. I mean, clean the uh, baking dish. Now it may, I think it's this cycle. Let's see if I could just... And it's actually rubbing to see if it can all that off. You actually can pause this. Just have to press uh, the start button this button right here just press it once I think you hold it for like I think it's like three seconds I think that's what the manual says it's just like a, a soft touch once you press it and it will stop it it won't stop it completely just don't press it more than once because you'll start your cycle over um, I don't think it'll matter it just you'll just be remixing everything I found uh, sometimes if I really want my bread to be soft I'll actually mix it on dough and then send it back through the regular mixing uh, cycle so let me actually let me let's show y'all see, so see it's actually a little bit cleaner um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scraper. Turn that down. Scraper spatula and scrape the, uh, the sides down. I'm trying to see, make sure that the fruit doesn't dispense while I do it. to dispense and then it it doesn't go as planned so I can't actually I have to turn it this way guys I'm sorry right handed as you can see see it's getting like dry that maybe I need to add just a little bit more just a tad and right here uh -oh.
Can you see the sweat? So I'm gonna add just a little bit. Okay, when I say it, see if it's tacky, see, it's still on my finger, so that's not tacky. goodness that tastes so good okay so I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little just a little at a time and it's gonna um, it's gonna it's not gonna do anything because it's still mixing so this is still the mix still mixing stage okay so don't freak out just add a little bit of the flour uh, all bakers do it at one time especially if they're using a mixer or uh, doing it by hand and this just it helps all the dough to pull they call it the pull away and see like right up in here all that should be clean so I'm gonna let that mix actually let me add just a little bit and each cycle is different so you see how slow it is now but eventually as it goes along and it gets um start pulling away and gets closer to the rising stage um it's gonna the the kneading process is gonna the that's what it is it's ne the kneading process is gonna change because it has to get it ready to rise and you won't see all this white stuff you won't see all the you can see actually if you can see it because when it turns it's going to actually distribute it. So see, it's deflating now. And now it's going to do it again. And it's going to keep doing it until it actually gets to, um, I think it's the fourth cycle where it dispenses the fruit. And then it'll speed up. So that's why I'm trying to hurry and do this because I don't want it to shoot out at me and not get in inside the bread. So. And, and this is necessary. Not all the time, but this is just, I think this is because I'm using raisins and I had to, um, I added that liquid, extra liquid, because other than that, let's see. So see, it's still a little sticky, um, but I'm gonna wait and let it do one more cycle. guys I'm sitting down I am tired Oh, also a note to 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 remember something to remember just say like you forget to add something and I've done that several times I mean you know it happens you're busy or you're whatever the reason may be uh, may have company and you're trying to make bread for your family for the upcoming week or for the party or whatever you still can add it um, I found that you still can add the ingredients um, to it and it should be fine now if it's something like eggs or something like that always make sure that you scramble the eggs before you put it in there um, that's why I was saying I'm trying to find a good brioche um, recipe I found one on a YouTube channel and my I don't know what happened the bread exploded so 
I I was not happy. So and I'm just gonna show you this. I know I keep showing you this, but for those who are watching all the videos, so you won't have, you won't have to flip back and pull down the description bar because I do that too, and that to me that's that bothers me. This actually is two and a half cups of wheat flour. Um, I I rubbed up against it um, when I was shifting the chair, so I can rewrite that for you. And above it, that's two 20 ounce uh, cans of raisin. I should have put cans, I put raisins, but this is what I was writing. <laughs> so see, that's 20 ounce. And that's a big can. So, and I actually put some right there. And it's um, actually in there already. So when that dispenses, if I, I dispenses, I will see, um, I probably only use one can, but I love raisin, like raisiny raisin bread and cinnamon, cinnamon bread. So, um, yeah. So mine will be a little bit on the sweeter side because I use uh, brown sugar and then I use honey powder. But when you just use the honey powder, if you just, you don't want cinnamon raisin bread or you don't want to add cinnamon or anything else to it, it's not gonna be that sweet. It's not because between the flowers and the the two the the wheat flour and if you choose to use uh, bread flour, it'll it'll die it down and then it'll reduce the the sweetness. And two, you know, you you have your uh, salt so that it kind of evens it out. It's not gonna be sweet sweet. But now, if you do want it sweet, you just have to. Uh, double it or I don't know how sweet you want it or triple it um, I'm trying to find a butter bread recipe um, you know butter bread like Sara Lee makes oh I love that so much and I've seen several channels do it um, I tried out and so that's one of the things I'm gonna I'm gonna try um, I just want everyone that own this to actually really get the the gist of it you know making bread is not easy at all okay we're at 244 this is the end of the third cycle so we have seven minutes so I'll be back um, I'm trying to just make these videos to show you how to you know to use this machine but also answer some of the questions that were in my descript uh under my comments and that i seen on other youtube channels and i just wanted to kind of make it personal i know most people probably won't see this until i premiere it so i'll probably try to premiere all videos uh hopefully today um or later on because i'm tired so it's after it's close to so it's actually after six o'clock now <laughs> Um, so sometime today you'll, you'll, um, you'll get it. Um, you'll be able to see, you know, the results. And then also, um, I'm trying to stay up so you can see how it rises and this, that, and the other. Because there's several stages to this. I don't know where my manual is. I think it's at least, um, I think it's at least six or seven stages. So it's resting now. So let's see. So see, it's gonna rise a little bit. It's gonna rise. And usually um, it does that because first of all, it's uh, like I said before my other video, heat, heat, friction. I mean, you know, anytime you need and you uh, disperse that gluten, I mean, yeah, the gluten and the, the yeast, and the, you know you're spinning it it's just like when you you seen your grandmother or if you do make homemade bread by hand the more you need that that bread is i mean you need the dough because it's not bread it's just baked every the, the longer you need that that dough the better it's gonna be but you can't over knead it because if you over knead it you'll kill it so and a lot of people don't know that. That's why a lot of people don't want to use yeast. They're scared of yeast. 
and I was like that at first. I was. Um, I never remember my grandmother using instant yeast. I remember she used Fleischmann's, and I have Fleischmann's, um, but I've grown to love Red Star. Um, a lot of people don't know who Red Star. Um, they're, they're pretty good. You have to really just kind of roll with the punches. Even Walmart now has instant yeast. Yes, Great Value now has instant yeast packets. I've seen it. I'm going to try to order it with my groceries because uh, I have Walmart uh, W Plus. And I've just been stocking up my yeast between Publix, Harvey's, or um, I don't know where you are. If they have a Harvey's, it's in the Winn-Dixie family. Publix, I think I said that, Save a Lot has um, Red Star. Uh, when Dixie has Red Star and Fleischmann's, um, I got the Platinum from them. Um, I think uh, Publix may have, I know Publix has the sourdough yeast by um, Red Star. They have the Platinum, they have the regular um, active dry yeast by Red Star. They have the instant, the regular instant rise yeast. Now the platinum yeast is actually um, instant rise. It rises faster and it has dew enhance. Uh, dew enhancer actually helps um, wheat bread and other breads that, you know, well wheat, the wheat flour to actually expand and it gives it less elasticity i can never say that word that's why i also uh go through different youtube tubers because i didn't know anything about vital wheat gluten i didn't know what that was um and i didn't know about dough enhancers so if you want to kind of cut corners and just really just want to use um wheat bread I mean wheat flour good gracious excuse me you can actually buy the red star um, yeast platinum yeast and that it'll actually say platinum it'll say red star and it'll actually have dough enhancers but they do have sour dough yeast they have regular active dry yeast they have instant yeast and then they have uh, organic yeast, uh, which I think I'm going to try to buy that to see how that works because I thought all yeast was organic. I mean, it's, it's I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I'm just, um, Publix also sells um, Fleischmann's, of course. They sell the, um, now they also have you may come across uh yeast that is in jars like Fleischmann says bread bread machine yeast or uh instant yeast that's basically the same thing um as far as i know i mean you know um they have it in the three packets um if you go through walmart i think walmart now because they went up a little bit i've been con uh, collecting yeast packets for I don't know uh, at least a year or two and I didn't do like they do like with the sorry about that my phone is trying to die um I didn't do like people do with the um, with the uh, the toilet paper I didn't I just bought a little bit at a time if every month and I also bought some pectin and I think I'm a start stocking up on that again also um just because because this get it's this is getting crazy it is uh people they're one of food um and i i can't afford to, to really um eat the food that they have anymore because it it makes me break out um, I have eczema and it just flares up sometimes and I mean it's it's crazy but I mean what can you do it's the sign of the times they're growing stuff too fast you don't know what they're putting in the meat and you know people say well that's why I'm vegan but still they're growing your food I mean it can say yeah it's 
we use organic fertilizer and but we really don't know and that's why a lot of people now have you know illnesses i mean you know you know their eyesight is not as good as it used to be they develop allergies like i have i've always had sinus problems and allergies but now i got sinus allergy and asthma and i got you know i've always been allergic to stuff but it's just like i can smell something or be in a room with something and my face and stuff just break out or i start itching and i've never been like that i mean i was that child you know you go to somebody's house you see an aloe plant yeah me but i think that's probably because my mother had polio real bad she almost passed of it so i've been doing some research search on that and if your mom ever had polio or something like that when they was children and almost passed from it the male children they don't really get all of the you know the the, the backlash or what however you want to say it but the females do and i have got a lot i mean just you know i, I have hypothyroidism but i'm really really borderline like i told told you i don't know if i told you that everything i have is 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 just like it's crazy like my anemia okay so and i've talked to you but we are at the next stage and actually if you see let me stand up oh sorry if you see see how clean that looks let me see if i can touch it so that's about that's about right now certain breasts will be a little wetter than others you still have the option of um uh putting more flour in there if it's just if that's your if that's your thing hey go for it me personally um i don't think i think i'm good because this is cinnamon raisin bread i mean you know see how it deflates okay so you just heard the clicking sound it didn't it didn't drop So it's preparing itself. Let's see what happened. Oh, it did. It did drop, but the, the raisins didn't drop. So just this, I'm glad that happened. So you heard that click, click, click. That's dropping the, uh, the nuts or whatever. And as you see that part of it, see the bottom how it opens and I usually just take the time and just uh, just push that in Let's see it holds so now you know I'm a raisin holic I'm gonna put all <laughs> the rest of my raisins in here you guys I am I love raisins and I love I am a true true Raisin bread connoisseur. Now, like I said, you don't have to put all these raisins in here. I just do it because I love me some raisin bread. Love, 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 love. And when I do cut my bread, I like for every slice to have at least a thousand. to say a thousand, but. I like to have a lot of raisins. I like to see them. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna deflate and the closer it gets to um, the kneading process, it's gonna get bigger and bigger. So I know a lot of people I've seen on YouTube, they take it out and roll it, I, I know. Do all that only time I take it out if I may do it like if I'm doing like rolls or something like that because 
and as you can see as you can see if you see all the raisins and how it just molds itself in there I know somebody's like oh my goodness girl you know Austin I can just imagine what the comments are gonna be like y'all trip me out <laughs> And I'm glad that y'all got my back because some of those negative comments don't y'all don't worry about them because you know they're miserable. Misery dessert. Uh, they 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 love live for um, to make other people miserable. Because you know I mean it's a lot of stuff I hear and don't agree with on other people's channel, but I just say you know I congratulate them because whether you you know understand what they're saying or agree with it or whatever however you want to put it. It's their channel. Nobody asked you to come to their channel. They didn't ask you to subscribe. They didn't. They didn't make you put a gun to your head to um, make sure. Um, I think what I'm gonna do next time, and I, I said I was gonna do it when I first, and I think I've said it before, when I first put it in there, put the raisins in there, put half with the water so they can like swell up. And then add a little bit more uh, or mix them in with my uh, with with my flour mixture and um, and that is it y'all see oh, got stragglers but yeah this is gonna be out of sight y'all I can't wait to see this myself because that's a lot of raisins, you guys. So I'm gonna let this mix, and we still got one more. Is there one more just wants to hang on. I'm gonna get you out. And I've I've actually messed up my dry erase board, you guys. But I'll um I think on the first video or maybe the last when I finally get everything. But as you can see how it's kneading it in. Okay, it's resting. Oh no, it's not. It's actually, you know, kneading it in. Now, if you were to take this out, you would just basically just roll it, roll it. I just kind of just it out a little bit. Yeah, I do little stuff like that. I don't do that. Do as I do, not as I say. I mean, do as I say, not as I do. I'm not that type of person. Wasn't raised like that. Just have to, you know, kind of help a little bit. And then, as you can see, it's actually pulling away. Now, this is going to be a big hunk of bread. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad I. Um, I'm glad. I, I'm glad I put a little bit more uh, flour in there. It's, uh, that's nice. I mean, you know. And then it's a little oily um, because of the raisins. You know, raisins have juice on it, but it smells so good, you guys. And again, this is the container I used. You don't have to use this. Last time I made raisin bread, I just got the individual ones, but because there is no food, you guys, when I say no food, no food. And let me scrape it down one more time. But as you can see, it's it's not like.